I bet you didn't know that a little piece of Delaware is hiding in New Jersey. Right now, I'm walking in Pennsville, New Jersey. But now, I'm in Newcastle, Delaware. And I didn't even have to cross the river to get there. Let me explain. Although it's technically not a Jersey town, this story starts in the 17th century with Pennsville's namesake, William Penn. Penn and King Charles II agreed to create a 12-mile border for the colony of Newcastle, Delaware. The radius extended beyond the Delaware River and ended up at the low tide of Jersey Shore. Fast forward to today, roughly two miles of marshy land has accumulated there from dredging and landfilling, which is technically Delaware. But that's not the only place where the two states share a land border. Roughly eight miles south of here is an even smaller plot of land that also belongs to the first state, on Artificial Island. Yes, that's the actual name. But wouldn't it make more sense for Jersey to just own that land? Well, we tried. We brought it to the US Supreme Court three times, but we lost. Maybe that's why New Jerseyans don't like talking about it, which is why 